Time and again, foul things attack me, lurking and stalking. But I lashed out, give as good as I got with my sword. My flesh was not for feasting on. There would be no monsters gnawing and gloating over their banquet at the bottom of the sea. Instead, in the morning mangled and sleeping the sleep of the sword, they slopped and floated like ocean leavings. From now on, sailors would be safe. The deep sea raids were over for good. Light came from the east, bright guarantee of God, and the waves were quiet. I could see headlands and buffeted cliffs. Often, for undaunted courage, fate spares the man it has not already marked. However, it occurred my sword had killed nine sea monsters. Such night dangers and hard ordeals I have never heard of, nor of a man desolate in surging waves. But worn out as I was, I survived, came through with my life. The ocean lifted me and laid me ashore. I landed safe on the coast of Finland. Now I cannot recall any fight you entered, Unferth, that bears comparison. I don't boast when I say that neither you nor Brekka were ever much celebrated for swordsmanship or for facing danger on the field of battle. You killed your own kid and kid, so for all of your cleverness and quick tongue, you will suffer damnation in the depths of hell. The fact is, Unferth, if you were truly as keen or courageous as you say, then Grendel would never have gotten away with such unchecked atrocity, attacks on your king, havoc in Herod, and horrors everywhere. But he knows he need never be in dread of your blade making a mizzle of his blood, or of vengeance arriving ever from this quarter, from the fig tree shieldings, the shoulders of the spears. He knows he can trample down new days to his heart's content, humiliate, and murder without fear of reprisal. But he will find me different. I will show him how the geats shape the kill in the heat of battle. Then whoever wants to may go bravely to me. One morning light, scarfs and sundazzle shines forth from the south and brings another daybreak to the world.